All right, hey guys, Mystical Made Easy. This video is going to uh, talk about the calculations, the different ones throughout history to calculate your ideal body weight. Uh, anticipating some uh, criticisms, this is not to tell you how much necessarily you should weigh. It's more of uh, to be used by medical professionals for um, uh, calculating drug dosages, uh, tidal volumes, things like that that require a tidal, uh, or excuse me, an ideal weight based on your height, essentially. Um, we'll go through the history of, the, of how this equation has evolved over time, uh, my personal favorites, and then uh, we'll actually do some sample calculations for what a five foot 10 uh, inch male uh, should weigh in terms of ideal body weight according to the different calculations to kind of see, you know, inner reliability and see if one's way off or something like that. So the first one is actually my personal favorite, uh, even though it's the oldest, this is by uh, Pierre uh, Broca back in 1871. Um, interestingly, this is the same guy that came with Broca's area of the brain and Broca's aphasia. Um, I'm sure that's clinical significant uh, to some of you. Um, in any case, uh, his is the most simple and it's also in pounds, not in kilograms. So when I'm counseling patients about weight, we don't, patients and the lay person doesn't know a lot about um, kilograms. And it's really easy to remember, it's 110 plus five per inch. And we'll go over the inch in a second because it's actually a part of each one of these calculations. And for females, it's 100 plus five per inch. Now, what does the inch mean? The inch actually means inch greater than 60 or greater than five feet tall, right? So if someone is five foot 10 inches, they actually be 70 inches, but the number you would plug in here would be 10 because that's how many inches they are greater than 60 inches tall. So same deal for women, right? 100 plus five per inch over five feet tall. Uh, I like this because it's really easy to tell people 110 plus five, 100 plus five. Patients get that, you get that, etc. cetera. Um, Divine modified this, mod uh, this equation and over 100 years later, uh, published it. So he then went uh, to kilograms, interestingly, and he did uh, 50 for males plus 2.3 per inch, same inch system as uh, Broca. And then for females, uh, it was 45.5 plus 2.3 per inch. Uh, pros of this, it's in kilograms, which is how we dose our drugs and tidal volumes and things. So it's more uh, useful for medical professionals. Also, um, just like Broca's uh, uh, divine kept your uh, you know constant there the same. So 2.3 is nice and easy to work with. It uh, doesn't change. Um, also, the, the starting weight of 15, 45.5 aren't too bad to memorize either. Um, Robinson, shortly thereafter, 1983, had problems with that. So they went on, uh, that group went on to further modify it. Um, they said that Divine would overestimate in certain instances. Um, in that case, uh, they used a similar um, uh, system using kilograms and a common constant, but their constants and their numbers are a little different. So that's 1.9 per inch. And for females, it was 49 and 1.7. So you can see, although a bit more accurate, um, a little harder to memorize. This is one that you have to, I don't know, use pretty frequently um, to stay up with. And then lastly, most recently, Lemons in 2005 in a uh, bariatrician um, obesity surgery journal came out with a, another equation. And the nice thing about this one is that it's um, useful for all people, regardless of biological sex. And that is the constant of 22. The problem with this one is you have to know their height in meters and you square that number. Okay, um, a lot of EMRs will give us height in meters, so it's not a big deal if you have someone open in an EMR. Um, but if you're just trying to counsel a patient and you're trying to say your ideal body weight should be X or is X or whatever, 99% um, of people don't know what their height is in meters, at least in, in the States in America. Um, so to work through some of these equations and to see how, how close they are, if we take a 5 foot 10 male, right, uh, so that's 70 inches, uh, if we work that through the the top brokers, <clears throat> 10 times five, right, is 50 plus 110 is 160. Uh, that means a five foot 10 male should weigh 160 pounds. Just for the sake um, of, um, you know, com comparing these, I'll put that up there in kilograms just so you can see, because the rest of them are all in kilograms. But a reminder, the conversion factor from pounds to kilos is 2.2 pounds per kilo. Um, also, while we're talking about conversion factors, going from inches to centimeters is 2.54 centimeters per inch. That's something you should know for if you're in the medical field. 
um, going down to Divine, um, if we type in, you know, the same five foot ten individual that comes out at 73 kilos also. Or just over 160, 160.6 pounds. So, um, you know, not much has changed from Broca to Divine. The only difference is that one uses kilos and one uses pounds. Um, so pretty good internal reliability there. Robinson then went on, if you put in a five foot 10 male, you get 71 kilos and it's like 156 pounds. So you can see that Robinson is a little lower, especially for an, uh, like an average height male. Certainly when you get out to the extremes of height, either on the short end or the tall end, uh, these equations start to space out in terms of um, inner reliability. And then lastly, just for completion, we'll talk about lemons. So if you uh, calculate it out, I'll just tell you, a five foot 10 male is 1.78 meters uh, tall. And so um, you, know, you square that, it's like three point something. And then you put that in the equation times 22 at the constant that gets you 69.5 kilos, which times 2.2 is like 153-ish. So you can see that actually, despite there being four different equations, uh, they all come out to pretty similar results for the average five foot 10 male. Um, this is where that um, 70 kilogram male, that's like, you know, the example patient and all of your example patient scenarios, that's where this comes from, is that is from this. Uh, again, I like Broca despite it being the oldest because it's in pounds and because it's simple, 110 plus five, 100 plus five. Um, other than that, uh, any of these other ones is, is good to use. And you can see they're all pretty similar. Thanks.